Spoilers ahead. As the movie opens, Joe Doucette, a cold-hearted marketing salesman is introduced. Due to his drinking and wandering gaze, he frequently loses business. Joe defends himself when his estranged wife contacts him about missing his daughter Mia's third birthday party. You are a After yelling many expletives at his wife, he goes on a drinking binge, throws up, and passes out. Ultimately winding up at the pub of his old friend Chucky, who forbids him from entering while intoxicated. Joe purchases a toy for his kid, then meets a woman with a yellow umbrella. When Chucky leaves his bar, he discovers Joe has vanished, leaving the toy on the ground. Joe awakens in a cramped hotel room where he is being imprisoned against his will. He is fed and cared for but is isolated from people. The chamber is occasionally gassed so that his kidnappers can act while he is unconscious. When Joe is alone, he experiences regular hallucinations, befriends a mouse, and then has the mouse fed to him. Since Joe is permitted to watch television, one day he sees a news report that his wife has been killed. He became the main suspect after evidence was stolen from him and put at the crime scene. He finds out over time that his daughter has moved on with her life and has been adopted by another couple. Joe makes the decision to improve himself. In addition to working out, he also makes a list of potential suspects, and sends letters to his daughter. He is continuously being observed on camera by a man named Cheney. Joe makes arrangements to flee after 20 years, but is unexpectedly gassed and let go. <sighs> he has a cell phone with his daughter's photo, and a countdown timer. He pursues after the street vendor with the umbrella, and uses his improved physical condition to fight off football team members who believe he was harassing her. Following the trail, he encounters Marie Sebastian, a homeless person's nurse who feels something is amiss with him, and gives him her business card. He goes back to his pal Chucky's tavern and shares his experience. Then he receives a call from an unidentified individual, who claims Joe can atone for his sins. With Chucky's help, Joe starts researching all the people he's wrong to see if he can find his captor, but no one qualifies. When Joe passes out again Chucky calls Marie to help. Is he gonna be alright? He'll be fine. Joe becomes enraged when she finds the stack of letters for his daughter and begins to read them. Mia feeling sorry for him offers her assistance. Joe starts trying different Chinese dishes at local eateries, in an effort to find the same dumplings he's been eating. He finds the right restaurant and pursues a man carrying a hefty order, while just carrying a claw hammer. He finds the prison, kills a couple guards, and then enters. He captures Cheney and tortures him, only to discover that Cheney is only the facility's caretaker. Joe receives a video from Cheney including the voice of the person who gave the order to detain Joe. Joe fights off many guards, and collapses from his injuries, only to be saved by an enigmatic stranger who returns him to Chucky's. Uh, come on, Joe. Once Joe has recovered, the stranger calls him again and continues to torment him. When Joe phones again, he discovers that the call had not been blocked and that the recipient was a Chucky's bar patron. Joe attacks, but the bodyguard manages to stop him. Adrian is the stranger, and he dares Joe to learn more about him and the circumstances surrounding his imprisonment. Adrian offers him proof of his involvement in the murder of Joe's wife. A fully signed confession and a suitcase full of diamonds if Joe succeeds. Most importantly, Adrian will bring Joe to his daughter, and then kill himself if Joe finds out the truth. He then leads Joe to Marie's house where Cheney's men beat up Joe. But before they can start torturing him, Adrian gives him a call and pays him off. Despite being shaken, Marie is adamant about helping. She discovers that Joe's ringtone is the song from his former school. She and Joe decide to leave by car, but Adrian keeps a close eye on them. While Marie tries to persuade the headmistress Ms. Burke that Joe might be innocent, Joe sneaks into the office. She learns that Joe met his future wife at the school, but that he was a very selfish student. Adrian's name and photo are discovered by Joe in a yearbook, establishing that he attended the same school. Chucky searches online and discovers that Adrian once had a hospital built as a memorial to his late sister. He phones Joe and leaves a message, explaining that it is all about the whore, after suddenly recalling something. Chucky's remark about Adrian's sister infuriates him, so he goes to the pub and murders Chucky. When Joe and Marie enter a motel to treat Joe's injuries, they end up sleeping together. They have no idea that Adrian is watching. That night, 
After breaking into the school, Joe recalls that he once harassed Adrian as a child. He later saw Adrian's sister having sex with a man in the garden while at a school party, and had told Chucky. Joe and Marie read newspapers in the school's library. Joe reveals that the man having sex with Adrian's sister was actually the girl's biological father. Joe and Marie discover Chucky's severed tongue in a box outside of school. Marie begs Joe not to go, but he ignores her and goes to confront Adrian. After a brief altercation, which Joe ends with some killing, Joe returns to Adrian and informs him that the mystery has been solved. Adrian jailed Joe because he held him responsible for the disaster that befell his family. Joe didn't understand the sex scandal involved an incestuous relationship, until this evening. Adrian says his father had sexual encounters with both him, and his sister. Although they were delighted with it, they were compelled to relocate to Luxembourg. Adrian was seriously injured before the father killed his wife, daughter, and himself. Despite admitting that Joe's actions cost him everything, Adrian maintains his word and takes him to visit Mia. Joe discovers that the show he watched on television while he was locked up was fabricated. The Mia he saw in that program is a professional actress. Adrian then keeps displaying images of the actual Mia. After her mother's passing, Adrian found her a family and changed her name to Marie. He orchestrated for her to have daddy issues so that when she met Joe, she would feel sorry for him, and the two would have sex. Adrian pulls up his phone to call the real Mia. Joe begs Adrian not to tell Marie the information and offers himself up for Adrian. Adrian merely says that he doesn't want to kill Joe because he is Joe exactly where he wanted. With Adrian winning, he shoots himself. Joe offers Cheney diamonds and arranges for him to be put back in jail in an effort to make amends with Marie. Joe writes Marie a letter, including some diamonds and the toy. Joe finds himself back in his old prison with a grimace on his face. And the movie ends. Old Boy is a 2013 American neo-noir action thriller directed by Spike Lee. It is a remake of Park Chang-wook's 2003 South Korean film, and based on the manga series of the same name. Starring Josh Brolin Elizabeth Olsen and Charlotte Copley, Brolin expressed his dissatisfaction with the final result of the movie, especially when compared with the 2003 version. Will Smith and Daniel Craig were offered the lead role but turned it down. Christian Bale Colin Firth and Clive Owen were offered the role of Adrian, but they turned it down as well. Marie was offered to Rooney Mara and Mia Vashikovska, but both declined. While Lily Collins auditioned for the role. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Pretty isn't it? Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be.